I am the great pretender, the greatest confidence man in... Hey guys, it's Julian here. And you, don't be giving away our location. Besides, do you know what a confidence man is actually? For your information, it's the old fashioned term for con man. And I'm conning the viewers into a good anime. So today we're taking a look at the great pretender. So, the first 10 minutes of this series are a little off-putting. It was an artistic choice by the director that the first 10 minutes of the first episode has a mix of English and Japanese voice acting. Aside from this artistic art style, the art style itself is very vibrant and eye-popping, with its beautiful colors and range of sorts. Like, it really helps bring it be an uplifting anime. The musical score for the series is truly fits the vibe of the story and has some very catching and moving tunes. But you guys aren't here for just the atmosphere of the series, are you? You're here for the story. The story centers around Makoto, who is thrown into this life of con artistry kind of sort of by mistake. And instead of cursing his life, he embraces it. Well, that is until he's roped into something much larger, like a much larger con scheme and he thinks he's a little over his head. While the first three arcs, the cons are quite mild in terms of their range, and each one has to do with a specific focus on a particular, particular character. The first arc really focuses on Makoto, and really kind of sets up the entire story. The second one focuses on Abby, the third one on Cynthia, and the final one is the backstory to Laurent that we've all been wanting, and a deeper dive on Makoto's past. While each of these arcs focuses on a character development while they have to deal with their past in terms of also dealing with the con scheme, I think it does a blend of the both really, really well. Now, while these four arcs together tell a really good complete story, there has been some buzz from fans that they want another installment. But what would that be about? Well, there's only one way to speculate that, and that is to check out our anime theory to see what we think about the fifth and final arc. But we also have another anime theory as to why we think the story is kind of complete on its own. So be sure to check out both of our anime theories on those. Alright guys, well this is still my segment so get ready for some romance corner because there are some pretty interesting romances throughout this series. First up, let's talk about the first one that captivated audiences attention is Cynthia and Thomas. While they do come from a very poor upbringing, they do make a pretty cute couple I think in a lot of people's opinions and I mean to see how they had absolutely nothing and they would just eat baked beans both trying to pursue their dream in the arts was truly fascinating and it was very endearing to see how they would come together and work together to make their dreams come true Thomas being a artist trying to find his own style while Cynthia tried to become an actress ballerina which plays into Cynthia's role in this confidence uh, anime, helping bring up her acting abilities and whatnot. The fact that they had to bring back Thomas for their uh, little scam was kind of a nice homage. And obviously Makoto having his big heart really showed the value that Cynthia really should really forgive him. And I mean, it's unfortunate that one man drove a huge wedge between them and obviously again it kind of shows that sometimes being poor helps really strengthen bonds between people. Not saying that rich people can't have really nice relationships or anything, but when you come from that and money kind of starts becoming an object, it really does drive a wedge between two people. Or a wedge I should say. Next up we have Laurent and Dorothy. Again, this is during the time of their confidence men lives. Laurent kind of, again, has a really upsetting upbringing. I think that's a theme throughout the series, is that people that become these don't exactly come from great upbringings. Anyway, Laurent is kind of looking for revenge on this one guy, and it just so happens that Dorothy gets in the way, which is all a part of their big scam. Then Laurent ends up being a part of their team and helping them pull off a lot more scams in the future. While Dorothy and Laurent do start to grow close together and actually do end up becoming a couple, even though D Dorothy was against the idea in the beginning, stating that love was an absolute waste of time. But Laurent pushes through and triumphs over her 
and ends up becoming a really nice couple between them. Sadly, that ends up being short-lived when they decide to do one last scam and it goes horribly south. Dorothy does have a ring that she uses as protection to always keep her safe during these scams, but unfortunately during this time it was not successful. Laurent then goes on a revenge spree to get revenge for her death, but little does he know that Dorothy is actually alive, as a lot of you have seen if you saw that end credit scene, so I'm not going to really say it's a spoiler, I mean the series has been out for a while now, so if you have seen that, it's kind of a thing already. Which everyone has been very upset about because Dorothy has claimed to have lost her memory and everything kind of seems like a daydream to her and Laurent does not know that she is alive. Will these two actually end up being reunited? Be sure to check out our anime theory as to why we think that the series is just fine as it is or check out our other anime theory as to what we potentially think the last and final case may actually be about. Anyway guys, there is one last couple I have to talk about, and that is Makoto and Abigail. While this is not an official couple throughout the series, there is a bit of tension between these two characters, which to me always can result into a romantic relationship. Makoto does look out for Abigail on multiple occurrences. In the beginning, he is captivated by her beauty. Now that being said, during the second case, that is where their relationship starts to grow even further with Makoto looking out for Abigail because of her past. He knows that she has a lot on her mind and helps her deal with it and helps her move forward. That being said, in the also final case, it's kind of reversed where Abigail now starts to look out for Makoto a bit as Makoto starts kind of going through a lot of things because a lot has happened. I mean, he wants to save these kids. His father comes back into his life. There's a lot for him to deal with. And at the end of the series, we get to see that Makoto and Abigail still kind of communicate and still have that kind of rocky kind of relationship. But I do think something is there. And if it does end up coming back, what will happen? Be sure to check out that anime theory on that. Now it's time for the three reasons as to why you should be watching this anime. Number one, it's entertaining. It is so thrilling to watch as they pull off these great and grand schemes. Like, their cons get bigger and bigger with each and every arc, so it is thoroughly entertaining to see just how these characters pull them off. Number two, I stated this before, but it's got really colorful art. The art style of choice for the series really fits the vibe, and it's, again, with the bright colors, it helps kind of brings this nice cheerful atmosphere to it, which I think does it well. But on to number three, it's got a phenomenal soundtrack. I have to say, the song choices that they had were phenomenal. The composer was great and spot on. And with those really key moments, the songs really help make an impact on you. Overall, the series is thoroughly entertaining from a story perspective, has great art, has great sound. You have to go check it out. Yes, I'm the great pretender. Ooh. Pretending I'm doing well My need is such I pretend too much I am lonely but no one can tell Oh yes, I'm the great pretender I drift in a world of my own I play the game but to my real shame You've left me to dream all alone. 